I've known George since 1969. Looks, so I know, Jeff, isn't it? I know it's Jeff, but actually, George and I worked on Newsday in 1969. He was sent away to a major assignment to cover a, the stall gift. Went away in the company car, sent back the story from stall, and it said by George Wilkinson. And ever since that date, Greg Hobbs, who worked at Newsday, and I have always referred to Jeff Wilkinson as George. So he's been George for, uh, for 40 years for me. My favourite story about George has got nothing to do with newspapers. We used to live together in Sandy Bay and Hobart. I reckon we had a hot water service that had about two litres in it. He used to always get up 10 minutes before me and take every drop of hot water in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the building, preen himself, towel drying his hair, dressing up in his fancy duds and everything off to work, and I had to make do with nothing in the fridge and a hot water service that was as cold as ice. So that's my en enduring memory of George Wilkinson. And when I realised that I required a media director to coordinate the release of information uh, to the media, uh, I advertised the position and there were 35 applicants, one of whom was Geoffrey. And uh, I asked them all a, a series of questions, but included in my questioning was a test question. It was a kind of integrity test. And it related to um, uh, portraying me in a good light at all times, and also to uh, having the capacity to pull stories, which uh, I thought uh, didn't suit me or the police force. And uh, I was surprised at the responses I got from some of those on the panel uh, to that question. Um, some vacillated, some said, oh, they'd do their best, and others said, oh, they thought they could fix that. But when it came to Geoffrey, his response was quite emphatic. He said, at that point, Mr Commissioner, you and I would have reached the parting of the ways. And that was Geoffrey. There were times when we disagreed, but we disagreed like gentlemen. But um, uh, uh, Geoffrey was always, uh, could always be depended upon to give advice in the right measure at the right time. Late 1986, he went to uh, the United States on a Churchill Fellowship. And while he was there, he uh, discovered the Crime Stoppers program. And he was so enthusiastic about it, um, he convinced me in a very short space of time a, a, as to its uh, validity. And he was the key player in uh, its um, uh, establishment, uh, its uh, development. And um, it was for the benefit of the whole of Australia, all of the police agencies in Australia, because the concept spread once we'd introduced it here. As a judge, and now as chair of the foundation, I'm very conscious of the need to bring the law to the public in an accessible form. Jeff um, and others, um, I think, have fulfilled that aim uh, to make sure that the law is accessible, that the good values of the law are communicated, that the achievements of the judiciary in their daily work are communicated and that the failures are revealed as well because there are many achievements and there are more than a few failures. He's been always so thorough uh, and so committed to it and I know we had a discussion um, at the coffee station not long ago where he was bitching about his story running on page seven when he thought it should have been the front page lead and I thought nothing's changed. We used to talk like that when we were in our 20s. We're still doing it in our 60s. For your accuracy and fairness, balance and when needed fearlessness, I most warmly congratulate you. Splendidly done, Jeff. And I'm just so delighted that he's been the recipient uh, of this Life Achievement Award. And I do hope that uh, he and the delightful Dorothy will derive as much pleasure from it as I have in being involved in this small way. What a six months it's been for you, mate. A Collingwood flag and now the Lifetime Achievement Award in journalism. That's a double that would pay pretty well, I reckon. Good luck to you.